fuori. On the fifth day, am I reading the right thing? Yes, that's correct. On the fifth day, Shalbulio, the son of the Shahad prince of the children of Simeon, did offer. His offering was one silver charger. The weight thereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them full of science flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. One golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goat for a sin offering. Five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Shalimiel, the son of Zerishadai. On the sixth day, Elisaph, the son of Dul, prince of the children of Gad, offered. His offering was one silver charger of the weight of an hundred and thirty shekels, a silver bowl of seventy shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering. All right, uh, Sister Corleen. Okay, so we just uh, finished reading from Numbers chapter 7, and we started at verse uh, 36. And uh, I will be picking up, let me see, at uh, verse 46. All right. Yeah. Okay. And it says here, uh, one kid of the goats for a sin offering and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five e-goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Eliphaz, uh, Elisaph, the son of Duel. On the seventh day, Elishama, the son of Aminahad, a uh, prince of the children of uh, Ephraim, offered um, his offering was his offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was an hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense. Praise ye the Lord. We do serve a good God. And I know you're going to say, why did you say that, Brother Michael? Uh, uh, where did you stop? Uh, huh? Um, yeah, so it, it's amazing what had to happen for people in those days to get forgiveness for what? For their sins. 
You, I, I don't know if you really, you know, I, I mean, the, uh, the research I'm going to give to Brother Peters to find out how much is a shekel. All right? That's going to be your assignment, to come back and tell us how much is a shekel. A shekel, I mean, I don't even know the difference between a shekel weight of the sanctuary and just a regular shekel. But it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not just a small amount. But the, the important thing is that these, this is the process by which all these people had to go through for a sin offering, for peace offering, and the different things, and how many bullocks and, and, and rams and, and lambs they had to bring. For different offerings. They, have to, they had to bring flour. Mindled with what? Mindled oil. with oil. It, it, it's just so amazing. What the debt. And I want to pay attention to this. What the debt of Christ. Eliminates from our lives. It's just so amazing. Because, I mean, it's okay. If you want to continue to do all this, that's fine. But what I'm saying here is that Christ had eliminated by his death on the cross all these sacrifices that had to take place. And I don't know about you, but I am super happy because I, I'm not sure what kind of sacrifice it, whether it was going to be a bullock or a turtle dove. But knowing the magnitude of my sins, I, I, I estimated that the priest would request a bull or a bullock for my sins. But just to think about it, how it makes me happy that Jesus became my bullock. He became my lamb. He became your lamb. Your ram. So that we do not have to go figure out. Well, I mean, I could probably get a lamb from my son. I could probably get a goat or a ram from my son. But most of us would not be able to find all these animals that it took to get forgiveness for our sins. So all I can say is praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. For what sacrifice, the sacrifice that you made so that we can get in our closets. We can get on our knees. We could stand up and we can ask God for forgiveness. It's a blessing to note that Jesus Christ sacrificed his life so that we in turn, praise the Lord, can have eternal life. Let us give God thanks. Let us take time out to give God thanks for what he did for us. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. God encourages us to pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. Then he, then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not to lose heart. Luke chapter 18 and verse 1. We are presenting a parable related to the subject of prayer. Jesus emphasized two aspects. Prayer is a necessity, number one. And number two, the most important thing about prayer is to pers per persevere in it. God wants us to understand that it isn't the same thing to believe that prayer is good as it is to be convinced that we need to pray. And, that, mm. and that's the conviction that Jesus wants us to have for us to see prayer as something that is essential not optional, not occasional, 
and not circumstantial. Good Why man. is prayer essential? In the parable of the widow and the unrighteous judge, See Luke 18, Jesus brings to our attention two reasons why prayer should be a habit in the life of a Christian. First of all, because there are needs whose fulfillment must come from someone other than ourselves. In the parable, the widow insisted on going to the judge not because she thought he was a good man or because she thought that he liked her, but because he was the only person who could grant her the justice that she needed. Spiritually speaking, uh, one reason that we need to always pray is because there are things that only God can give to us. And prayer is the means by which we can go to him and ask for them. It doesn't make sense for a person who doesn't pray habitually to expect things that can only be given to us by a God that they don't even talk to. If this were how prayer worked, the widow in the parable would have expected the judge to grant her justice without going to him and asking for it. Secondly, the parable shows that although the widow needed justice, she lived in an atmosphere of injustice, so her only chance was to persist in spite of her circumstances, and that is what she did. In our case, we mustn't forget that the atmosphere around us does not motivate us to seek spiritual growth. Actually, if we go with the flow, the waters will always take us far from God. Mercy, so mercy. To pray, because prayer is what keeps us connected, dependent, and clinging firmly to the Lord. It behooves us to understand this. We need to pray without ceasing and without ever tiring. Amen. I mean, that pretty much says it all. I mean, we, we have to pray that. That's, that's how we communicate with God. Even if we just say the word Jesus, that is a prayer. Amen. Let's pray without ceasing. All right, Brother God. Um, Jesus, Mama, Yebima, Benye, Amen, Ju, Aulu, Demaye, Kenye, Mama, Nemale, Mapu, Nivenye, Jesus, Sita, Maya, Kenye, Jesus, Maya, Kenye, Ma katebe vabeta, ma yeke Jesus, ma ma yebi ma, ma yele ve Jesus setam. Satana duma, Satana bima, no sanji lojbo velma. My mother, Jesus said, Maya ke Jesus, Maya ke Jesus, ma katebe va beta. Maya ke Jesus, ma maya bima, maya leve Jesus eta. Amen. She has seen an excellent source of fiber which can improve heart health, reduce cholesterol levels, and promote intestinal health. 
Baba takes longer to digest than must be. You feel, that makes you feel satisfied longer, which is how it can help with weight loss and decrease your risk of developing diabetes or heart disease. Chia, chia has a small round seeds and can be black, brown, and white in color. They are harvested from a flowering plant in the mint family known as Salvia hispanica. It's native to parts of Mexico and Guatemala. Edible chia seeds are closely related with chia plants made popular by chia pets, but they are not the same seed. A gel forms around the chia seed when mixed with liquid, which gives chia beverages their distinct texture. Chia seeds can absorb up to 12 times their weight in liquid, which makes them useful in keeping baked goods moist. <coughs> chia seed benefits. Chia seeds have many nutritional benefits. They are high in omega-3 fatty acids and fiber. Chia provides a similar amount of omega-3 fatty acids as ground flax seed in the form of alpha-linoic acid, or ALA. They can help with weight loss. Chia seeds are an excellent source of fiber and can improve our health, reduce cholesterol levels, and promote Intestinal health. Fibers take longer. I read that already. Forget about that. Eating a diet rich in fiber also <coughs> is shown to protect against colorectal cancer. One serving of dried chia seeds is about 2.5 tablespoons. This has 140 calories, 5 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber. 12 grams of carbohydrates and 9 grams of fat, of which 8 grams are healthy fats. Using chia seeds, grocery stores stock a variety of chia products. Products that contain chia seeds include chia pudding, chia kombucha, and granola with chia seeds. And is it okay? Chia seeds have a mild flavor and can easily be added to many foods you already enjoy. Try added whole or ground chia seeds to smoothies, juices, milk, yogurt, oatmeal, pancakes, or granola bar recipe. Try them sprinkled on salads or cereal baked into muffins or bread. <coughs> My goodness, that's good under here. Or made into chia pudding using the recipe below. I'll, recall, I'll quickly go to the recipe. One and a half cups almond milk, one third cup chia seeds, quarter cup unsweetened cocoa powder, four tablespoons maple syrup, half teaspoon ground cinnamon, it's optional, and half, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And mix all these things together except the chia seeds. When they are combined, add the chia seeds and combine well and let it rest in the refrigerator overnight. This will become a pudding and it it's, um, can be kept for two to three days. Serve with chilled food stuff with fruits or dollops of with topping. Um, that's good enough. Amen. For now. And that was about Chia seeds. Okay, so we're going to start with Joshua. Say a short prayer. Yes, uh, let us believe and pray. Our Father, we come unto you. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for all that you have done into our life. Thank you for what you have learned today. Amen. Jacob. 
Jacob. All right. Uh, Frida. Frida. All right. All right. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Psalms 1914. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah.